After we've created the topology lines in the last video, I will now show you how to transform them into a 3D terrain. If you haven't watched the last video yet, then go do it and come back afterwards. I will link the video in the info card. Before we start, I created a macro from our three nodes from last time. This macro is called better topography. You can either use the three nodes from last time and use them instead of this better topology macro, or you can create this macro by yourself. I will do a tutorial on macros in the future. So let's start by connecting this better topology with our media out. And now you can see there are our topology lines in the viewer. And the first thing we want to do is to make it 3D. So let's get a few nodes to transform our fusion composition into a 3D scene. First, we will need a renderer 3D. Then we need a merge 3D node. Third, we need our camera 3D. And fourth, we need our image plane 3D. You want to get the renderer 3D and connect them immediately to the media out. Then in front of the renderer 3D, you want to merge 3D node. Then before the merge 3D node, you want the image plane 3D node. And on top of the merge 3D node, you want the camera 3D node like this. And now you can take the better topography and put it into the image plane 3D. And as you can see, you can see nothing. That's because we need to click on the merge 3D node and press one on our keyboard. You can also click this little circle on the left to make it visible on our left viewer. Now I use the shift button and the right mouse button and move around. If you only click the right mouse button, nothing happens. And if you click the middle mouse button, you can move in a translational way. With the left mouse button, you can select things. So hold down the shift key and use the right button to view it from the side. And as you can see, the camera is inside of our image plane. So let's click on our camera node in a node graph and with the blue arrow, drag it back until you can see the image plane in your viewer. Now I'm using the middle mouse button to move our view around. The next thing we can do is click on the image plane and then on the top left here, you can select this icon to change the rotation of our image plane. Use the red circle to rotate it and let it lay flat on the ground. To make it completely flat, we can go to the inspector and under transform, you can see there's this rotation X value, which is at minus 87. We will click on it and change it to minus 90 degrees. Now you can't see the plate anymore because our camera looks exactly at the, at the side of this plane and it doesn't have any width. So let's take the camera and move it a little bit up and then select the rotation mode and rotate it a little bit down. And I will move it back a little bit more. So our whole plane is visible in our view. Now we still need to make our plane 3D. And to do this, I will go into our node graph again press shift space and get a displace 3D node. Don't use the displace node, use the displace 3D node. We now have to connect it after the image plane node. If you hold down shift, you can drag it onto this line and then drop it and it will get connected automatically. But as you can see, there's still nothing happened because we need an import for this displace node, which tells our displace node how it should change the height of different areas in our image. And 
What's quite frankly is we can use our better topography node to displace itself. Now you can see it looks like this and it already has displaced something, but it doesn't look quite good. And the reason for this is because we need to change the channel from Luma to Alpha. And now it disappeared because it is up here. So let's change the bias to be in our view again. And let's decrease the scale. We are still too far at the top. So I will just take the image plane 3D and move it down a little bit. And we can also move the camera a little bit up to counter it and turn it a little bit down. Now it's still not perfect because I need to click on the image plan 3D and under the controls, there's the subdivision slider. And the farther you will move it up, the more polygons are available on our image plane. And our displace node can only displace these polygons. So the more you have of these polygons, the higher is the resolution of our displacement. Now it already looks quite good, but I want to change a few things. So let's get a brightness and contrast node and also a soft glow node. Let's connect both of them and now change the input of the image plane 3D to the soft glow node and do the same for the displaced 3D node. Now we can change the output of the beta topography node and put it into the brightness and contrast node. As you can see, our image is now glowing, but I still want to change the brightness and contrast and use the lift and bring it a little bit down. Let's increase the gain a little bit and the contrast like this. And that's basically the node structure for our terrain. We can now play around with the camera placement, move it up even more and turn it down. And what I don't like is that the terrain goes up at the edges. So we could either make the terrain bigger or we can do a little trick and let's use a background node, which is black. Then we need a round mask, put it into the background node. And after the soft glow node, let's put in a merge node. It's important that the soft glow is the yellow input. So it's the background and this background is the green input. Disconnect the displace output of the soft glow and use the new merge displace output. And now you can see there's this hole in the middle of our terrain and we want it to be the opposite. So let's select our merge on the right side so we can see the 2D image and use the ellipse, maybe make it a little bit wider so it fits more of the image and then click this invert button. Now you can see our terrain is in the middle, but the edges are all at the bottom. And I don't want this effect to be as hard as it is right now. So let's use the soft edge slider and turn it all the way up. At the edges, our terrain is now at the bottom and in the middle, it is quite high. And you can play around with this, maybe change the height and the width to make it less affecting and you can also change the level, which changes how much you pull down the edges of our terrain. And to achieve our animation from the intro, you just need to animate this image plane. And let's move our view a little bit. Bring the cursor to the front of our timeline, go to the transform and place a keyframe on the Y rotation and move it forward to the end of our timeline 
and move the Y rotation as far as you want it to be. And now you could render your result. You can use this technique with the Displace 3D node for many different things, which helps you make 2D images 3D. Now comment down below what you will do with this Displace 3D node and watch this next video. See ya!